Let's go. Action! This is the Axel and Sean show and you're watching another video. My name's Axel. And I'm Sean. And today we are here in London for Madame Tussauds Waxworks. So let's head inside, see what all the exhibitions are about and find out what celebrities I actually know. And here we go, we enter into the alien escape. Security breach in the Med Bay. Warning, security breach in the Med Bay. I can't hear you. What? Go through, go deeper in. Okay. Let's go. This is very well themed. It's amazing. It's like walking through a, a haunted house. Whoa! Whoa! There he is, Xenomorph! Only straight into the Skull Island, King Kong. This place up to now, Sean. Hate it. So proud of it. Yeah. The thing is, if you've got time and slots, because we had to book for 10 45, and it was turning people away because of the time slot. Now, when the stamp turning people away because it's so busy, we wouldn't expect it to be this busy if you, you know, you fill it with your people through because of time slots. The wax works are amazing. The place has some good exhibitions, but it is just too busy.
death masks, instruments of torture. It can only mean one thing, the Chamber of Horrors. I scared the kids, I scared the kids. Let's go inside. Here we are. down into the chamber of horrors it's one of the newer exhibitions here in the London Madame Tussauds let's go inside oh it's very well deep it's very dark lit oh it's live arts isn't it Jesus the blind please no lights and no flash no lights and no flash let's go through Ronnie and Reggie will be around there. Yeah, uh... Reggie's over there, sat down. George's going out there. I heard what you said about me. Well, look who's here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone got shot. <laughs> <laughs> There's bodies in the wall, there's bodies in the walls. You probably can't see it very well on the camera, but the theme in here is quite spectacular to be honest. As you walk through that corridor then, there was bodies in the walls. This is John Christie, the neighbourhood strangler. Somebody's inside there. The smell pods in here are very strong. It smells like muster, death, old. I don't know if you can hear that, but someone's banging from inside that cabinet. Someone's under the floorboards there. But this is what I mean, the small details, if you just walk through this place and not look properly, you probably won't notice things like this here, people beneath the floorboards. Looking for six missing people. John George Hay, the acid bath murderer. <laughs> Nothing. Don't tell her we found them. I wasn't saying anything. I'm afraid that that's the one that's the killer. What is this? You the breaking bed. Nah, you breaking bed. Got a little bit of a thing. I don't know. Oh, you'll find out if you're not too careful. <laughs> HM Prison. His Majesty's Prison. Back then it was Her Majesty. Who's on the books? Dennis Nielsen. I'm Cricket. This way to the cells. <laughs> What I do like in here is all there's some live actors dotted about. Right, you lots, welcome to prison. It's not going to be fun, and it's not going to be fun. Are you sorry for what you've done, sir? Over here, Dennis Nielsen.
were in the cell with Ruth Ellis, who was hanged for murder. And she was famously the last of a person, the last of a woman to be hanged for murder in the UK. Nice Thank you. This way to Jack the Ripper. Horror in Whitechapel. Oh my lord, there he is. The one thing I was waiting for, or well, the second thing I was waiting for the most in here, the Dark Rider ride through London's history. The spirit of London. Apparently this is one of the most well-themed dark rides in the UK and it's found here in a waxworks museum. There's the cabs that you get into, the classic London taxi will take you around the history of London. And of course, on-ride filming is allowed. So you will be coming on board the ride with myself and Sean. Let's get inside our designated black cab taxi. So of course, as you step into the taxi, there's various different languages on the front here for you. We've picked the English language British. to teach us all about the history of London. Welcome to the spirit of London.
to take your fight. Now we enter one of the final exhibitions, the Marvel Hall of Heroes, with a humongous Hulk smashing through the bars to grab hold of the people and eat them, because Hulk's hungry. Here he is, Samuel Jackson. Spider-Man here. Got Captain Marvel. Iron Man. American Man. New for 2023. We have got a Marvel 4D experience. Well, man, everything looks in 3D. They're looking 3D to you, Sean. No, you're in 2D. You've not got 3D glasses on. His vision's only 2D. Mine's 3D, you see. We're waiting to go in for the 4D experience. As it says there, you can't come in. If your heart's beating, you're going to break wind. You've had a big meal or you're wearing a dress. We're in the seats, ready to watch the Marvel Hall of Heroes. 4D experience, and if you look up, the hole above you, it's a dome. This must be the dome. That the superheroes commence. Take a seat and ensure you are wearing your 3D glasses. Be aware there are several effects in the show, including strobe lighting, back boats, and mist spray. Now sit back, and we hope you all enjoy the show. And the theatre will be the first to destroy. What are you doing? Whoa. So you come out of the Marvel thing and you enter the Star Wars place but what strange place to put um, some of the most famous or iconic scenes from Star Wars right at the bottom of the stairs because this is just causing congestion Anyway, let's move on Star Trek. Should we 
for a stone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank God for that. Not two hours left now. And that's the day done at uh, Madame Tussauds here in London. Sean, what do you think? Very, very crowded. Very, very crowded. The, the waxworks are amazing, honestly. They're so lifelike. Like, you wouldn't believe how realistic some of them are. But there's just like hundreds of people in every room. Too many. It's just like, I don't understand honestly, it. social distancing is clearly a thing of the past because it ain't happening anymore. No. What was your highlight? Um, I'm trying to think which ones look the best. So I thought that um, some of the ones in the first room look really good, you know, like the rock and all that. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Marvel ones were okay, you know. They were what they were, do you know what I mean? Yeah. They didn't look too much like the actors, they looked more like something that they'd imagined from the comic books, do you know what I mean? Um, I really like the Star Wars section, that was pretty cool. Okay, okay. And, um, yeah, that's probably my highlight. The Star Wars section, that's probably the coolest part Fair in enough. terms of like theming and stuff like that. Yeah. But it was all really good. Like, oh, like, there weren't any that were like really bad. Oh, actually, the alien bit, yeah, that's enough. probably the best bit. Fair enough. So, for me, my highlight of today was number one, the Chamber of Horrors. Absolutely loved that. Very surprising that they had um, some live actors in there. I did not expect that. Mm. That was a very welcomed element to the experience. And yes. I think that was one of the best themed parts of the whole uh, tour, if you want to call it that today. And then my second favourite bit was the Spirit of London dark ride that we did go on. Oh my God, that was... When they say it's one of the best dark themed uh, one of the best themed dark rides in the UK, you kind of expect it to be well themed, obviously. But when you actually experience it, one, you don't expect it to be as big as it is, and two, it is very very well done like yeah. it is good and it's got a constant flow of uh cars as well Carriages, yeah so you're not waiting for it that yeah. long which is good we didn't it's wait a for conveyor more belt of uh coasters what are they called yeah. Yeah. carriages train train yeah conveyor belt of trains it was honestly brilliant so yeah, yeah it's amazing so i love the chamber of horrors I loved the spirit of London. Sean loved the Star Wars bit. He also loved the alien bit as well. Yeah, the alien bit the waxworks were good, which obviously you expect them to be in today's day and age. But it's just a bit too busy. A bit yeah. too busy. Yeah. That said though, my name's Axel. I'm Sean. And we'll see you in another video. Bye. Goodbye.